Five years after his accident, where he lost his left leg and injured his other, Dan Zafarov, 33-year-old from Macedonia, not only is independent in his daily activities, but with the help of a prosthetic leg, has returned to hiking, swimming, and cycling. Physical activity, for me, it's an inseparable part of being alive. Just letting your body enjoy. When I stay in the computer or working uh, in front of the computer for all day, that's not, that's not me. Then I get crazy. In 2009, he set out on a personal quest to cycle across six of our continents, hoping to cover a total of 15,000 miles in three years. The process of uh, getting to this point was uh, very long. I had to forget how to cycle so I can learn it from before. In a way, the body is finding its own way of how to adapt to the things. And I just have to adapt my aspiration or my goals to what my body tells me that I, I have to listen to. So far, Dan has cycled nearly 6,000 miles across Europe, South America, and just recently ended his latest trip in China. Cycling for Dan is a way of life, a symbol of mobility, independence, and is an outlet for the passion he knew long before his accident. What started as a personal journey turned into public motivation, and on his next trip, Dan will raise funds for Camp Stars on Earth, a place for teenagers with physical disabilities in Macedonia to play sports and promote active lifestyles. The next goal for Dan is to cycle the U.S. from New York to San Francisco this fall. It should be around 5,000 kilometers, that's what, more than 3,000 miles uh, in two months. And will that be enough? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it will be enough for two months until I go for the, for the next one. I think for many people there is like one limit of uh, tolerance to these negative experiences and many people decide not to cross that uh, limit and I think we all have to cross that.